At the edge of land and sea, a unique coastal ecosystem thrives where few other plants can grow. In the warm, muddy waters along our tropical coastlines, these forests of the sea are doing far more than first meets the eye. And if we can ensure their protection, they could make a real difference in the fight against climate breakdown. They're cool habitats, right? They're walking trees that are extremely important in, in how we look at a changing climate and how we may address a, a changing climate in the future. Mangroves are magical habitats that bustle with life. But these coastal forests aren't just havens for wildlife, they're critical for our survival too. What's really unique about mangroves is they're growing in an environment where the soil is a natural preservative of carbon. And so when scientists, so really just a decade or so ago, started measuring the concentration of carbon in mangrove forest soil, so they discovered that it was in an order of magnitude larger than the carbon that's contained in tropical rainforests on a basis of a per unit area comparison. Alongside other coastal habitats, like seagrass meadows and salt marshes, mangroves play a huge role in fighting climate change. Beneath their flooded, salty soils, mangroves trap enormous quantities of carbon. And if left undisturbed, this blue carbon can remain locked up for millennia helping to decarbonise our atmosphere. But as a natural climate change solution, the benefits mangroves provide don't stop there. In addition to looking at climate change through CO2, they're also help to protect coastal areas from other things that might happen because of climate change. Sea level rise or storms, these coastal forests actually help to buffer the wave power and energy that comes from a hurricane or a typhoon. Their root system is so intricately managed that they are able to resist waves. And we know now from science, if you have a mangrove one kilometer, it can withstand 90% of the wave energy. 40% of the global community live within 100 kilometers of the coast, and mangroves play a vital role in ensuring human well being, providing livelihoods and food security for millions of people. These communities rely on the resources of these different forests, whether that's for coastal protection or whether that's to put food on their table. 70 to 80% of commercial fisheries in the tropics will depend one way or another on mangrove forest. So it's really important. Despite their critical importance, we're losing these ecosystems at an alarming rate. 20 to 35% of global mangrove forest coverage has been lost in the last 50 years. And devastatingly, the destruction of these forests in turn releases the carbon stored in their biomass back into the atmosphere, further fueling climate breakdown. So as you're, you're losing these forests, you are potentially losing that dense carbon that's stored in the soils, but then you're also losing those uh, other ecosystem services that are so important for these communities. Restoring and protecting marine habitats like mangroves offers a natural solution to help us tackle the climate emergency. But it's a solution that often gets overlooked. Along with decarbonisation across all sectors, EJF is calling for all countries to make protecting blue carbon habitats a central part of climate policy. You can help by sharing this video and urging your elected representatives to recognise the crucial role of our ocean in the fight against climate breakdown.